Let's grab him. <laughs> Look at that. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today is the day. I've been very excited about this for a very long time. Today, we're gonna to be setting up a new tank for my pet yellow belly slider, Sheldon. There he is, and this is his 55 gallon tank. We're gonna be taking him out of this tank. If you wanna find out why, look at this video right here. But to make a long story short, he got trapped in this piece of driftwood and he could also get trapped in this house, but I do not wanna remove these decorations from this tank because it would just look empty and those decorations would go to waste. So. What I'm gonna do is just put Sheldon in a new tank. I was going to do that anyway because I'm leaving for college and I can't take the 55 because it's too big. So I actually got him a 25 gallon aquarium. I'm running down into my basement to go get that. All right guys, and here is the 25 gallon aquarium. It's a little bit heavy. I got this tank at a garage sale for $20 and as you can see, there's some supplies in there. I'll go through those in just a minute. But $20, 25 gallon tank. I figured that out in my last video. It looks like it's the perfect size for Sheldon. Came with a nice little frame slash stand slash I don't know what to call it. But it looks nice nonetheless. So now let's go through all this junk that's in here. First up we have a filter cartridge. Which is weird because there's no filter in here. Plant food. Ammonia test strips. Next up we have a heater. Some algae wafers. Oh, it expired in 2014. Uh, yeet. Some more ammonia strips. Some just fish flakes. Those are probably pretty old too. Probably will end up throwing these out as well. So yeet. And then a crusty hood for this thing. Wow. <laughs> I feel nasty just touching this. Okay. And then this looks like an LED light. Yes, sir. Hopefully it works. Oh, there's a there's a switch. Okay, and it just it just doesn't work. Oh, see, I'm gonna unplug that before it burns my house down. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do with this is take it outside and hose the whole thing down because there is some crust and dust on here. So let's go do that. Alright guys, sorry I'm all sweaty, but it's 97 degrees outside. So I'm letting that tank kind of dry out outside. And while that's happening, I'm going to move the 10 gallon out of my room because this is where the 25 gallon is going to go. All these decorations and even killer is going to be going in the 25 gallon with Sheldon. And this tank will just be put downstairs. But for now, I need to clear this area out and make room for the 25 gallon. Alright guys, so here's what's going on. I just moved the 25 gallon in where the 10 gallon was. I actually moved the 10 gallon right there because I still want to put that tank water in there because that's already ready to go. So that'll help speed up the time that I need to let it all cycle so that I can put fish and the turtle in there. So I'm going to start filling this tank up with that water. All right guys, so I actually have the same rocks that were in the original turtle tank and I'm going to now put these in this tank. I just rinsed them all down by the way. Alright guys, so I actually just put the hose from outside in through the window into the tank, so that's filling up. Alright guys, it's just about at the water level I want it to be at, so I'm going to run outside and turn the water off. Alright guys, so here's where we're at right now. I just took the filter out of the 5.5 gallon Spongebob tank, so we got that in there. That filter is still a little bit small for this tank, but it'll do for now. Eventually, I will get a bigger filter for this tank. Right now, I'm going to start putting the decorations back in this tank, and we will let it cycle for a while before we put any fish back in here. So guys, I was just looking at 
the basking area that I have on the 55 and it might fit perfectly on the new tank. Yeah, I'll stop right there. Future Carson here, I'm editing this video right now and I just realized that I completely forgot to mention that if you take a look right there, that is a floating turtle basking dock that I was planning on using. So yeah, that's what I was gonna use. Forgot to mention it, back to the video. No freaking way. It literally fits perfect. All right guys, so the basking area that I made actually fits perfectly on this tank. That is extremely lucky. So because of that, I can now fill the water all the way to the top. So yeah, let's do that. All right guys, so here's a quick update. The water is all the way to where I want it to be. The basking area is on top. I still need to hook up the lamps. All right guys, the lamps are on. And in my opinion, I really think that this is enough light for the tank itself. So I'm not gonna struggle with getting an LED in here. That, and I'm actually out of outlet space. So this tank is just about ready to go. As you can see, it's still a bit murky, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more time to cycle through. But yeah, the next thing to do will be put Killer back in this tank and then eventually put Sheldon in. All right, guys, I believe it is now time to put the animals in this tank. First, we're gonna do Sheldon. Let's grab him. And there he goes. Alright guys, I just put Killer in the tank as well. Old buddies reunited. <laughs> Look at that. All right guys, so since Sheldon is out of this tank, first of all, I put the other side of the hood back on. So now the driftwood is back in this tank and so this tank is completely back to normal. Checking back in on the boys. They're both doing good. Sheldon still hasn't found his way onto the basking area, but he will eventually. I'm now gonna see if Sheldon will eat a pellet in his new tank and I can almost guarantee that he will. Cause this dude can never stop eating. Boom. on well guys Sheldon found his way into the basking area for the first time that's good to see it is the next day the water has gotten slightly better killers doing great they've both eaten I fed both of them last night all right guys it is two days later I just got done at PetSmart here's what I got I got a new filter for the 25 gallon, it's actually a 30 to 40 gallon. So this will be easily enough. It's the IF40 top fin internal filter. This filter ran me 23 bucks. And then I got two extra filter cartridges. This pack was $6. This was actually one of the lower priced ones. So it's what I went with. Let's go home and set this up in the 25 gallon. All right guys, we are back home. As you can see, the water is just about crystal clear. If not, it will be tomorrow but it looks pretty nice. Sheldon's doing good, Killer's doing good, and now we're gonna put in this new filter and we're gonna put the other filter back in the SpongeBob tank. I'll just unbox this filter for you guys on camera real quick. It's got suction cups on the back and then it also, you see these two little dots? Depending on how low the filter is gonna hang in your tank, you can adjust this so it is at the proper level. We have the filter cartridge. It's a pretty heavy duty filter cartridge. So I'm gonna go rinse all this stuff down and then I'm gonna put it in the tank. All right guys, the new filter is in the tank. And I gotta say, I really, really, really like how this thing looks so far. It's got a nice, smooth, silent stream. Gotta love it. And I don't know how well you guys can see it, but right there, the filter's got a pretty big intake. It says it can filter 140 gallons per hour, so that's pretty good. There's one final look at the tank. As you guys can see, I just put the other filter back in the SpongeBob tank. The frog is already chilling under it. I just fed him about five minutes ago. That's why he's so big right now. But with that, I am gonna wrap up this video. I had a lot of fun setting up this tank. 
and I think Sheldon and Killer are both going to enjoy living in here. But if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button, join the fish gang by hitting that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am going to see you in the next video.